All right, so you're here because you want to hear about four brands that made Jay-Z millions. I'm glad you're here then. Let's get to it. 9to5killer.com I want to go fast. Uber. Best investment advice that you ever received. What was it? Do you remember? Whether it was in the market or just investing in life and in business. Yeah, I think just doing things that you believe in, you know, <laughs> things that you understand. I think that's the best investment. I heard Warren Buffett say that just the other day. And uh, I just innately felt that, you know, just invest in things that you understand. As it turns out, Jay-Z's investment in JetSmarter was not his first rodeo with ride-sharing companies. In fact, he was making some serious moves to not only get in on Uber, but secure himself a lot. Hold on now. Just in case you haven't heard of JetSmarter, because... I faintly remember something about it. Then I did a little bit of research and I found out that Jet Smarter actually turned into Fly XO, which is like a ride share of for a private planes. And that recently got sold. Um, I believe they were having some lawsuits or things like that. If you want, you can look that up on your your own time. I'm I'm not going to throw any disparaging remarks about the God. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the God, uh, the God mogul. <laughs> We're going to make that a term. Yeah, but oh yeah, by, by the way, since you're here, go ahead and like and subscribe. Like, subscribe. Um, yeah. And leave a com comment below, you know what I'm saying? Do you remember Jet Smarter? And what actually happened with that lawsuit with uh Fly XO? Let us know. Down in the comments below. But uh yeah, let's get back to it. We're on Uber right now large stake in it. Back in 2013, just as Uber was about to hit the ground running, Jay-Z agreed to invest $2 million in the company and then wired Uber an extra $3 million in hopes that he would get a larger stake. Bold strategy, but it didn't pay off. While Uber respected the audacious move, they ultimately declined and returned the difference. Still though, it was a pretty baller move and it still turned out fine for him. Today, that $2 million investment is worth around $70 million. That's a 35 fold return. I bet he wishes they would have accepted that extra money he said as that would have been an extra hundred million added to his net worth. Number three, Tidal. One of Jay-Z's more well-known brands, although no one is exactly sure what for, was when he invested in Tidal, a music streaming platform that was intended to be an artist-friendly service. Partially owned by artists such as Kanye West, Calvin Harris, and of course, Hove's wife, Beyonce. Bought for $56 million in 2015. See, now they saying they're not quite sure why Tidal is such a big brand. They probably should have did some more research on who were all the partners. And when I say partners, I mean like the relationships that Jay-Z has cultivated over the years. And when you talk about the relationships, we're talking about people who have big celebrity brands, influencer brands. And when you have that type of black book, man, especially when something that they can all eat with, such as a streaming service. You can do you can do some ill things. I can imagine what the back the back room conversations was. Just use your imagination. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. Why? Why you don't know why? It's one of the biggest brands. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Title saw some shaky media coverage and odd quirks, but Jay-Z was still able to establish the platform as a voice in the highly competitive streaming market. What's more, he flipped the initial investment for $200 million only two years later, selling a 33% stake in the company to cell phone provider Sprint in early 2017. This venture now represents $100 million in Jay-Z's net worth a healthy 10%. He still retains his share of the ownership to this day, and for its part, Sprint provided title for free to its 45 million retail customers. Pretty sweet deal if you're on Sprint. But against Apple Music or Spotify, I don't see much of a comparison myself. Some accusations of unethical activity have been made against the company, like that it faked over 300 million streams to inflate Kanye West and Beyonce's album sales numbers. But that hasn't stopped Jay from cashing in on the trend of streaming services. Number two, do say. Rappers and beverage lines go hand in hand. 50 Cent's Vitamin Water, Diddy's Vodka, Ciroc, and Jay is not the exception to that rule. He invested in multiple beverage lines, which he helped cultivate and grow, eventually becoming a large portion of his net worth. One of his first ventures into the line of alcohol was when he became the owner of the 4040 Club, a chain of high-end sports bars started in New York City. 
Moving past this, he went on to develop his own brand of cognac, Doucet, which he co-owns with alcohol giant Bacardi. Doucet is growing at a rapid pace, moving over 200,000 cases of cognac annually and stocked in thousands of stores across the United States. The venture proved to be very lucrative for him, representing $100 million of his net worth. Number 1. Armand de Brignac Another Ace. wildly successful venture for Jay-Z <laughs> is his champagne brand known as Armand de Brignac Champagne. Uh -huh. In one of the biggest purchases of his financial career, Jay-Z bought the brand in 2014 for $200 million. No, I didn't say that wrong. He dropped the brand $200 million in what was probably the biggest flex any rapper has ever made. Now, I'm going to say something about this. First, there's two things. Two things we got to think about. He's selling a, can you call that a commodity? He's selling an item. We're just going to say he's going to sell an, he's selling an item. He's selling something that's perishable. When I say perishable, I mean that it, well, actually I am saying it disappears. You, you consume it and it's gone. You have to get more to have something. That's an awesome thing to get into. Not like my, uh. Nine to five killer pack, which you buy once and I just keep expanding the value. You purchase one, th one and you can find that down below if you don't know what that is. But um, he sells it and you got to keep coming back. But also he goes a second beautiful thing about the Duce and the Ace. You also heard them mention that brand 4040, right? Now, these are high end sports bars that you, it'd be safe to say, serve tastemakers, right? People that move the needle when it comes to swag and it's just like you know what i'm saying like on the block you know what i'm saying you see somebody they got the they got the fresh wheels or they got that fresh drink or whatever and it's something like or like platinum jewelry or whatever you're like well they they got it that tastemaker influences others to get involved with brands they wear the polo you wear the polo they wear they wear the uh the rock wear you wear the rock wear they drink the ace you drink the ace they drink the crystal you drink the crystal right so he has 40 40 who who serves the tastemakers so he has 40 40 you know what i'm saying you like so you hopefully the bartenders are saying you drank that do say yet and you're like nah i ain't drink that yet you drink that ace of spade yet nah i ain't drink that ace of spade yet well have some might even give you some on the house depending on who you are how big your brand is how long your influence is and you tasting you're like wow that was delicious that was fantastic let me get three or four more they're like, yes, we, we got you. We got you. Then you go to your people's, your network, and you show them this brand new product you just had, this gold bottle, this beautiful gold bottle, Ace of Spade. Like, yo, look, Jay, you said, well, you know what I'm we're not even drinking um uh, 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 Chris Down no more. We drinking Ace of Spade. Look at this gold bottle. This drink's sexy, dog. Look at this bell air. It's sexy, dog. Look at this douce. It's sexy, dog. It tastes delicious. It's a heck of a marketing plan. It's genius. I'm telling you it's genius. Think about it for a little bit. Think about it. You know what I'm saying? What's your opinion, by the way? You think that was a genius move? Do you think 4040 had any influence on how big and fast those brands grew, those brands grew? And not to mention again, his network, that black book going to work. Like, man, and this, and let's not even forget about his own music. Like, for real, his music, I don't even think he even thinks about the music as far as, like, generating an income with, by, like, record sales and, or whatever. I think he thinks about his music as just, like, really, like, marketing material. Think about it. Think about it. Marketing material. He could give a shit about the record sales. Like, when he's saying, yeah, I'll tap out, I'm not going to do the music or whatever. I guarantee you every single, like, he might not be every single album, but I guarantee you on the whole project as a whole, you're probably going to hear about th promotion for three or different, about two to three different things that he's marketing. It's marketing, baby. It ain't music for him no more. <laughs> it's like the, the record sales. What? That's my ad spend. His ad spend is paying for itself. It's genius, man. It's genius. Hover, hover monster, man. Let's get back to it. Jay-Z has been involved with the brand for much longer, having repped the Golden Bottle Champagne in the 2006 music video for Show Me What You Got. Since that initial investment, the Armand de Brignac brand is now worth $310 million of Jay-Z's total net worth. It is easily his most successful venture and accounts for over 30% of his net worth. Imagine having $300 million and it isn't even half of your net worth. Pretty crazy, right? Especially for a guy who grew up in one of the most dangerous housing projects in New York. 
Other big money makers for the rap mogul include around $50 million in real estate, $75 million in Rock Nation, which is his entertainment company that manages many high profile names such as Rihanna, Meek Mill, and Megan Thee Stallion, and around $75 million in his own music catalog. With a billion dollars to his name, Jay-Z can rightfully claim the throne as the best hustler to ever do it. At least in hip-hop. Do you guys think any rapper will have a net worth that surpasses Jay-Z's? Let us know in the comments section below. Yeah, do that. <laughs> Let us know down in the comment section below. But yeah, man. The guy, man. I'm like People be like, yo, ho, so bloody. His moves, you know what I'm saying, with the business, man. Think about it. His marketing is free, man. Almost whatever he, he touches, he can blow up. Really. And if you don't think he's thinking about that, then something's wrong with you, man. Something's wrong with you. Really. And if you're a music artist and you ain't doing this yourself or you position yourself like this, something's wrong with you, man. You need to have some more products than just your music, like a digital product. Like I got the 9 to 5 Killer Pack. It's down below. You can check that. You know what I'm saying? This has a couple of different things. Uh, right now, I believe we're going to add like 20 tracks that you can use for background vocals or I mean background music for your um your videos if you want to make a no face video uh if you want to use just to make music if you do make music with us please send us the music so maybe we can review it and put it out to our our um audience and let you get some shine some free promotion you know what i'm saying leverage network dog network and um what else we're gonna add to it we're gonna add some youtube stingers there so you can have your subscribe now and all this you ain't gotta pay for it you just pay one time for the um the nine to five killer pack you know what i'm saying and you can use those subscribers put them together with the um the music that we're gonna give you make you some no face cash cow videos make you some money man and plus there's a hundred plus you know what i'm saying products You'll see if you want more information below. But definitely, if you're a music artist, have you some other some other things to do, to distribute and monetize besides just the music? And in my humble opinion, make it something digital, something where your uh where your cost to to create it is very low, but your returns can be infinite. Infinite. All right. So um yeah, that's it. Those are the four uh products that made Jay Z millions. Yeah. What do you think about it? I'm waiting to hear from you. Easy.